everybody, Wanna Weeds Mirror 2 in the morning. What better time to check out some villain gameplay from the Gamescom Showcase. Now, this is a special section. It's not uh, the Jetpack Wyndham level. It's not uh, Thumping Whoop Islands. This is nothing you've ever seen before. This is an undead themed level or area, not quite sure. That's not really specced out. But uh, we got Dr. Neo Cortex. We're also seeing some new rooms here. So we got garden variety chompies, but uh, sort of like a, uh, they remind me of Chop Chop, like Archean type stuff. But uh, you'll have a mix here. I haven't separated them out just because, in my opinion, it flows through this level the best, leaving it the way it was delivered. Uh, so Crankcase, surprisingly, uh, has seemingly been the most looked forward to villain thus far. Uh, you know, outside of like the Neo Cortex thing, you know, just like standard Skylander realm of things, he's got quite the fan base from what you guys are telling me. So, uh, personally, Wolfgang still takes it from me, but check this out. They're not Cadet Crushers, I believe those are Greebles. Uh, you know, like an undead Greeble sort of looking thing. I mean, that's basically what I'm comparing them to. So, uh, lots of cool stuff here. Again, this is sort of like a more playful undead level if you pay attention like the lower left corner there you saw the eyeball uh, right as we have chaos here approaching uh, pay attention to that big skull in the background when he gets closer there was my beloved doom sharks you can break the skull too but did you see the eye stayed very interesting uh, my favorites some of my favorite levels to date in the series were the ssa original undead levels you know i still love the format of ssa the best uh, and then dark light crypt of course Something I've always hoped that they will surprise us with one day is just HD remasters. You know, same level, maybe tweak it a little bit, but uh, just the four original APs, that would be cool. Anyway, we got Crash Bandicoot in here, so it's not technically all villains, but that's the way they dubbed it, and uh, hey, that's what I'm going to roll with, because again, this honestly just flows through this area better, so... Uh, did you catch the spider web there? A lot of people probably didn't. Rewind it and you'll see what I mean. Uh, Neo Cortex here. I think I'm going to love this little hover point there. But, uh, also, it looks like we've got our routine spell punks. Again, you saw the life one kind of healing people. We've seen the undead earlier. I wish we could get a frontal shot on that shield. I think we'd appreciate it better. But uh, that little speed move crankcase does probably what I'll use the most. Check this out, though. Uh, sorcerer weapon. You've seen some of that in the previous videos. So it's going to be a tough call. Uh, you know, the crystals are going to be locked in to the specific... Oh, chaos time. Uh, it's going to be locked in to the said battle class. And the issue there is if you do... This reminds me so much of... Uh, what was that Cyclops level? in SSA, you know, where you go like up the hill with the ramps and you kind of fight these type of critters or creatures. Uh, I see it in my head perfectly, I just can't think of the name, but uh, you should know what I'm talking about. If not, go watch my SSA playthrough. More Crash here. <laughs> but, uh, I miss the Shadow Knight so much. That made me think, of, I know that. Uh, it was uh, Quicksilver Vault there. Uh, I really wouldn't mind seeing SSA in its entirety, just with modern HD graphics, I think would be cool. So, somebody's at the studio, you know, looking for some things to do, pull a Nintendo, and uh, I will support you. Pay attention to this, though, Silverback, but it's part of the Yeti set. I'm telling you all this stuff because the crystals, the one downside, the battle class is locked in. So if you get your base starter pack and your fire, look at all the enemies here, uh, fire creation crystal, and you set it to ninja, and you think, well, you know, if I don't like it, I'll just switch back. Problem, you can't change the battle class. I don't quite understand that. Uh, the reasoning I've seen wasn't really valid, in my opinion. <laughs> and, uh, I think that's going to lead to some issues moving forward for most people. For someone like myself, what I wanted to do was actually, you know, like, get one of each. Uh, make a whole bunch of different, you know, like have my earth crystal, make a whole bunch of different, you know, battle classes and setups, and then let people pick, like poll people on what character they want me to keep, and then rebuild it or keep it or whatever it may be, uh, based upon that, because it's going to get expensive unless they have, like, big sales on the crystals. And now with that being the issue where you're locked in, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, it's going to temper what I do, uh, definitely, but uh, I'd still like to do it. It's just, and then my biggest thing, though, 
as a guy that's planning on spending, you know, a lot of time creating characters and would like to do, you know, the 10 by 10, the dream sale for retailers, you know, 100 crystals, uh, 10, 10 from each element to cover all of the battle classes, right? It's what you'd want, ideally, in a perfect world where money is not an issue, and it sadly is, I think, for everyone at that point in time. What's, uh, is that a elemental gate back there? Did you see the tech gear in the back? I didn't notice that when I watched this like the first five times. <laughs> but uh, I think it was. But man, chaos. I've had a lot of you say like, how OP is this guy going to be? I agree. The crazy thing is we're getting him early for free. Uh, so that's going to be crazy. But again, note how you're seeing like elements of every battle class you saw. The ninja stars, the staff, you know, the bull slinger. It's going to, I think, turn out to be very cool for him. So back to the crystals, though, uh, where I'm going to have issues is like with these weapons. You know, you might be like, OK, I'm totally set with my Earth Sentinel. You know, this is how I want this locked in. Three chapters later, you come across, you know, a mystery chest and you get some new gear. You're like, wow, this sorcerer weapon is awesome. I think it would fit that you know, build I did well. And then you're like, I want to switch to that. But then you can't change the battle plan. I don't know. Uh, to me, it should be a full reset. And you know, if I want to buy one crystal and heartbreakingly have to sacrifice a beloved you know, like fire ninja to make a fire bow slinger to reincarnate flame slinger, you know, series three or whatever I'm trying to do in my crazy little head. Uh, it's it's gonna get expensive for like veteran players or you know, older players like myself and for the younger kids like their target audience they always talk about that's not gonna go over well with parents but uh, nonetheless and we really haven't seen a lot of like creating your own Skylander since the like debut E3 stuff uh, so maybe they'll uh, you know I don't know I don't know Maybe they'll uh, reconsider that or do something, but so. Uh, nonetheless, I hope you have enjoyed these villains here. we got like another minute or so of gameplay to check in. Anytime there's these areas that are just enemy heavy, that gets me excited to play the game. That's one of my favorite things, just where you walk in an area and you're like, oh hey, a treasure chest, and then you take two steps and you're just under assault for the next five minutes. <laughs> I love that. I don't know, I might be the only one. But to me, that is what's awesome. Also in these areas, you know, there's a lot of pedestals and you think, oh, it seems like something should be there. A lot of times in this demo footage, they've like removed an item or two to kind of like not spoil everything. But uh, hey, you know, I'll take it. Let me know your thoughts on this level though. Does it stack up with your undead expectations? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Uh, did you like it better in SSA? Do you think it looks best here? Uh, whatever your thoughts are, feel free to let me know down in the comment section. But do those guys not look like, not the Spellpunks or the Eagles, but the uh, little Archean Ultron crossover? Don't they look like Chop Shop needs to fight them? I think so. Uh, so all the time through this footage, I always try to like go back and say, if this was SSA, which of the 32 characters would I use to defeat them? You know, that's how I kind of try to look at the sky for stuff. But, uh, nonetheless, like I said, did you see the fish there? That was very cool. Neo Cortex, though, I think is going to be a very cool guy to play around with. Again, even for people like myself with no experience with him, I think he's going to be a fun addition to the series. So, that said, I will quit rambling. I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve for it. I think it's some stuff you may enjoy participating in. Uh, that might be a clue or it might not be. You'll have to stay tuned and find out. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, help me out here. I'm a little guy uh, getting beat up by cross promotion from people with partnerships that I don't want to take because I think they're crazy. <laughs> and uh, I'm just trying to have fun and play some Skylanders. So that said, like I said, I got some cool stuff coming. So stay tuned. Wannaweasem.com, SkylanderClub.com. I'll catch you back here for more Skylanders Imaginators action.